I'm restoring a front axle and wishbone that I found for my Model T, but I'm going to try something unusual to protect the machine features from sandblasting and paint. I 3D printed some plastic masking caps, but I have no idea how they'll survive the aggressive sandblasting process. They could get shredded to bits or even melted away. I can't wait to see. This all began when I decided to restore the front axle and wishbone on my 1926 Model T. I wanted to get them sandblasted and then painted, but I wanted to protect the bores and other machine faces from blasting and paint. Rather than using tape, I decided to try something different. I wondered if 3D printed masking caps would fit well enough, and whether they would survive sandblasting. And I wondered how they would work as paint masks as well. Now this is clearly overkill. I'm sure I could have masked with tape or some old fasteners, or not even masked at all. But I wanted to see how well this would work. I designed caps to cover all the spherical sockets, bushing bores, kingpin threads, perch threads, etc. And I printed them on an inexpensive 3D printer. I used PLA, a plant-based plastic filament. Some of the caps even have 3D printed threads inside, and others have square holes to match carriage bolts. I installed the caps and sent everything out for sandblasting. The plastic caps survived the aggressive sandblasting just fine. I was able to reuse them as paint masks. After painting, the caps came off easily and were still in good condition. Such good condition, in fact, that they can be used again in the future. We used green zinc chromate two-part epoxy primer on everything, and then jet glow polyurethane black paint with the 3D printed masks covering everything that we didn't want painted. I was really pleased with how it turned out. I'd do it again, even though it certainly is overkill. <laughs>